This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Mitch Jolicker with the latest from Denver 7. Today, the coroner has released the name of the woman who was hit and killed by a train at 124th and Highway 85 last Saturday. 56-year-old Kelly Michelle Yarish of Brighton died of multiple blunt force injuries. Adams County deputies say she was taking photographs of the train just moments before she was hit. Today, Larimer Square in downtown Denver celebrates 47 years since it became the city's first historic district. But today's celebration comes with a protest from those who don't want to see the area changed by any new development. Protesters will be in Larimer Square today about lunchtime, handing out t-shirts and stickers. A large portion of the shoreline at Chatfield Reservoir will not reopen as scheduled. Two of the day use areas were supposed to reopen tomorrow by Friday, but because of hot, dry weather, crews have had to push back their work for a few weeks. A total of three areas south of the Swim Beach have been closed to the public since January. Crews now hope to reopen them by Labor Day weekend. And from the First Alert Forecast Center, here's Lisa with your forecast. And it's going to be another bumpy afternoon. We have another risk of severe weather. Marginal here along I-25 and then a slight risk east of that. A little closer to Greeley, Sterling, and Akron. With today's storms, a few of those producing some heavy rain again. Hail and gusty winds up to about 60 miles per hour. Tomorrow's risk of severe weather covers, well, northeastern Colorado yet again. So another active day ex expected on Friday. We'll see a chance of storms each afternoon through the weekend. So we're talking a good solid five to seven days of some pretty strong storms for us and heavy rain in spots. Uh, temperatures, Mitch, have also been quite a bit cooler. Today we'll see highs near 80, a little warmer tomorrow, closer to 90 on Friday, but some low to mid 80 Saturday and Sunday. Our summertime heat returns next week. By uh, Tuesday, we'll hit a high of 90. Thank you, Lisa. Well, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Check back here later for another update later today and download that free Denver 7 app so you get breaking news alerts. I'm Mitch Jelnicker.